Hey guys, Shaber1000 here. Today, we're going to be doing an unboxing on this as seen on TV item here. It's called Micro Mechanic engine light check it says it wirely displays diagnosis it gives you an app that you put on your smartphone it does work with or supposedly uh, the Apple and the Android so but we're going to unbox this and we're going to try it out tomorrow because it's getting kind of late tonight I have a couple other things we're going to try it out on the truck it's got a check engine light on now I already know what it is it should only have one code but we're going to check it on the truck and on the car and see what that's all about but tonight we're just going to do an unboxing but first kind of a little messy here oh huh. that's my apple pie moonshine it's only 60 proof but we got that the other day down at uh, Disney Springs I had a hunter proof, but I like the apple pie. I wanted Monkey to try it. Uh, it may make me a hot toddy tonight. Let's see if it'll make me feel any better. Um, but first, yeah, I was working on this little train. You guys remember us talking about a little train? I think I did an opening on this for a viewer of ours. And uh, she said it wasn't working right, so... I got to messing with that today and I got to get it sent back out to her but what I did was I got me a little jumper here because this is a 12 volt train and I just got a jumper off of the tractor that is right behind me here in the garage so but I'll show you here it's Got little wheels going around. So, it's working well now. So, she's glad to hear about that. So, that's what I did this afternoon for her. Because I know she's been waiting patiently for it. So, anyway, there it is. And I'll get that sent out to her. Uh, here, just as quick as I can. So, let's get this put back away. Um, it was just a ground wire. What, what it was, actually, up underneath this thing, there's a little screw, a little tiny screw right there. Well, this was loose. Uh, the whole thing's metal except for the top part. This part's plastic. And the, the top part was loose. Now, right up in the back of there, see that little silver thing? Up in there's a little tab that goes like this. I'll kind of show you on this okay like this this is the train right okay the, the the frame of the train and there's this little tab that goes up there and when you put the body on it pushes that tab down and makes a ground onto the body which grounds onto the track okay well that was loose and of course you know this wasn't making contact um, so I went ahead and took it all apart for her and um, cleaned it up and re-oiled you know oiled everything real good there was some dust and dirt in it so i took the motor out cleaned it all up good um it probably didn't need that extensive i took all these out all the wheels and gears and everything totally disassembled it took i mean five minutes to figure out what was wrong with it and maybe another five or ten minutes to put it back together so I didn't, I didn't film it, I was going to, but I was like, well, it would have took longer to set up the camera, actually. And this camera doesn't do real well. I mean, I got the macro lens on it right now, but as you can see, it doesn't really focus these cameras down. So, um, all right, so anyway, there's that. But, so we'll get that sent back out to her, and hopefully she'll do a little video on it running around the track. It is a nice little train. So we'll get that sent back out for you, Nancy. Um, okay, and remember guys, check her out, Nancy Jones, got a good channel, okay, 
So let's let's get to this, okay? Let's open this box up here. So I got a phone call earlier, so if you guys would, I appreciate you keeping uh, my daughter. She's uh, turning 15 here in about two weeks, and uh, she's got a boyfriend that uh, lives out in Texas. When they lived here, that's how they met, and she was just talking to him this morning, and uh, I guess this afternoon or this evening, he was in a terrible car accident. And um, it's touch and go right now. Uh, last last she heard was he was getting ready to go into surgery. So uh, Monkey and I sent her some money so her and her mother can fly out to Texas from Ohio so she can at least be there for the boy, you know. So kind of uh, keep her and that young man in your prayers, if you would. I usually don't... Uh, do things like that on here but you know uh, yeah it's you know young kids you, you know it's just it's, it's a shame uh, I lost my brother in a car accident years ago so you know it was like so anyway let's I but but appreciate it thanks guys here's this let's open this up and see what's in here like I said we'll check it out tomorrow because it's dark out now and I can't fit the truck in the garage right now got the tractor in here and everything okay so they're just cheap packaging of course all right set that aside and here's the booklet on it um, like I said I know what is wrong with the truck there should only be one coat on it that's because somebody had um, bypassed the catalytic converter on it so it's going to throw a code as a bad O2 sensor or something to that effect but it gives you all your instructions here and your app or to go to download the app and everything and there it is and let's just check this out there it is it's supposed to work works on all vehicles I don't know about that we'll see you're supposed to just be able to plug it in. I'm not sure I'll have to read up on it. I imagine you just turn the key on and let it scan your codes and all that. Um, but there's your instructions and everything. So I just kind of want to do a quick unboxing. And uh, to let you know about, about the train, I did get the train going for her. And so there you go. So, so stay tuned tomorrow for... Uh, I'm going to... Uh, I've, got, I've got to put... Um, Door. Uh, da, 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 da. I've got to put. Um, I'll show you what I'm doing. I'll be right back. What I'm going to be doing tomorrow on the truck. We have right here. I got to sit down my back. So. Okay. We're going to be putting in the ignition tumbler because the key in the ignition is just we've got one we have to leave in it and because if you pull it out when you stick it back in you gotta fiddle fart around with it to get it to start so I'm gonna put her a new ignition in and Go ahead and open this up while we're at it. The driver's door on that truck we've met never worked. Well, it works from the inside. So you'd have to open up past your side and reach over and unlatch the door because her door handle broke. Okay, and then it's got, you'll see it when I upload the video. And it's got a piece that somebody put on here and it worked for a while, but apparently back in here something uh, kept breaking on it. It's broke two or three times. So I just went ahead and, and I, I got one. Now the other day, where was we at? Uh, oh, I was leaving the motel last weekend and um, uh, I 
went to open the passenger door and it's been kind of hard to open. These things are just plastic, you know. So, and of course what happens, it broke. So it's kind of a pain to open up. Same way with it, uh, the lock, because the keys and the tumblers, I mean 435,000 miles on that truck, yeah, they're starting to wear, so they're not wanting to unlock the truck right. So I also as well got um, the two new locks to put in the door. And these will go in there just like that. See that? So those will go in there just like that. And I'll show you how to do that tomorrow. Um, it's it they're really not that hard it's something you can do yourself so but that's what so that's what we got to do we got to do now the problem is I couldn't get them all keyed the same well actually that's not true I could get them all key I could get the ignition barrel tumbler the ignition there I could get the two door locks and two keys that match all of them. That was going to be on, what was it, $289, $300 or something. Yeah, $289 plus shipping. Well, the way I did it this way, I ordered them separate. Now, you know, she'll have one key for the door, just like they did back in the old days, the Chevys, you know, and the Fords. They, you know, you had an ignition key and you had a, had a, uh, door lock key which works your trunk too okay so sh see if you're wondering about you know you're going to get them mixed up well not really because see the ignition key she can use the silver one as ignition key and a black one will be for um, the doors so and besides these these keys even if she does want to use the black one see how this one here has writing on it and this one doesn't so, I mean, you know, it's not going to be that hard to uh, distinguish them, but I figure she'll just go ahead and use the silver one. Silver one's ignition, black one's lock. So, there's that's what we're going to be doing tomorrow. So, what I'm going to do tonight, though, is I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to uh, download this app and get this thing ready for tomorrow so I can get you guys a couple more videos up. And maybe do a little learning thing maybe you guys will learn something that you know maybe you can do yourself or you know share thoughts on you know if there's an easier way to do whatever I'm doing whatever um, I've never changed an ignition in one of these it's it's not on the uh, steering column it's on the dash shouldn't be that hard I mean ignition is an ignition is an ignition right so but that's what we're going to do we're going to check out this thing. We're going to put this in, these in, and this in tomorrow. So it's kind of like just a, an, an update on what's happening. So uh, sorry about my voice here lately and everything. I am feeling a little bit better. I don't, um, but I'm not the greatest yet, but it's okay. Uh, so anyway guys thanks for watching i hope you have a great weekend i'm gonna get this video up tonight for you so i appreciate everything all you guys support and everything remember check out monkey 1000 check out tammy's adventures check out nancy jones wish i could name you all but you're all so great uh, just be too many i'd be here for three days naming off names but i appreciate it guys so remember shea bear the myth the man the legend i'm gone for now bye bye guys take care